Hello friend, I'm Alice. Welcome back. It's been so long. Um, I'm falling back from a vacation and I want to do just a really quick flip through showing you what I journaled and how I journaled during my trip. And I think we'll start with the passport insert. Um, I didn't just take the passport, it was in my passport size Midori, but I took it out because right now it's my wallet. And um, I'm sorry I can't show you the whole insert, but at the back there are a lot of personal information, for example, like um, phone numbers and pictures of my family, so I can only show you the front pages. And um, at the front I have my address for the places I visit, so in case I get lost and um, <laughs> my, to be honest, my Chinese is not that great and I really need to catch up on that, but I just wrote down the address in case maybe I need a cab or something like that. At the front, as you know, our flight information, I already showed you that in my packing list. Here I tick off the stuff that I packed, like on the last day when we packed, yeah, pack on the last day. <laughs> um, on the last day we packed, I would cross off the things that I put in my suitcase so I won't forget anything. Um, <coughs> let me see. <coughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, I forgot my watercolors. I actually had them on my packing list, but I forgot to bring them with me to China, which was... I don't know, I was so sad about it, but it kind of really helped me to just concentrate on the lines and the line art and not the colors for once. Um, I'll show you later. Then to buy, as you can see, I didn't buy a lot actually from all the things I wanted to buy. Not a lot. Um, yeah, but we visited quite a lot of places I wanted to. We ate everything that I wanted to. <laughs> Some stamping we did at Muji. My little cousin wanted me to draw Conan. Um, really bad. I don't know. I never realized his eyes were in different sizes, which makes him look kind of weird when I draw him. Not sure. My spending tracker, which I did not keep for very long. Um, yeah, and then I only started to begin to use this on the 15th. Um, that's when I, that's the day when I started to bring the passport size everywhere with me. And I would just Take it out and use the Uniball signal in 0 0.38 and just write down little notes like which bus we took, which station we got off, what we ate, who we met, stuff like this, so that when I get home and have the time um, I could journal in more detail and not be, not forget any important details that I might want to write down. And it's only writing, only writing, then I try to a little bit of the maybe statues we saw or kind of like urban sketching but I didn't get to do that a lot. Um, yeah what else? I drew the food we ate then some some guy on the subway more journaling and then some note taking. I need to cover this up because it's a phone number and yes yeah, you can see not a lot of stuff. I don't know, here I was bored and I tried to draw really fast and without thinking. And let's see, yeah, a note from my auntie to me and my sisters. And then the last day, um, as you can see, only writing, only doodles and only in black. And then, I'm sorry, the back pages I cannot really show you. It's just pictures and little notes with washi tapes that I glued in back when I came home. And yeah, that's it at the back. It's only those arrival cards you need to fill out um, when you cross the border or the gates. That's it. I still want to decorate the front, but I'm not sure how. Maybe I'll just leave it like that. And it's more or less finished. It did bulk up quite a bit, but that's actually only because of the pictures. So yeah. <coughs> Sorry, man throw this kind of, I don't know, kind of hurts. And my Hobonichi, um, it was actually really fun but also really stressful during the trip to journal like this. That's why I was really glad I had the um, passport size insert because I could just write down notes on the go and um, sometimes I just, I was too tired or maybe 
there I, I wanted to spend my time with my family talking and just bonding instead of sitting alone and writing so um most of the time it was notes on in the passport size and then after maybe two or three days i would actually sit down when when we have nothing to do or maybe when it's raining really hard to sit down and to write like maybe three entries in one go so yeah let's start um <laughs> sorry i'm rambling a lot i know um on the i think that's the overview page like the first page of august i have a picture of my family and then on the first we board the plane there was a typhoon warning in hong kong so we had the longest stop over there um in in, in beijing and um yeah it was really tiring and i was i also had a cold so i had a really had really bad pressure in my ear yeah um hmm, what else yeah also <laughs> my drawings are really i don't know i feel like they're really messed up because um I was sick, my hands were kind of shaking, and I tried to draw on the plane, which did not end up good because, of course, it was shaky and I couldn't concentrate. Um, the sunset on the day we landed it was really beautiful. Really, really nice. What else? Little doodles of the day, what we did. We had some green beans ice cream, the best ice cream ever. I love this ice cream. <laughs> it's so sad that I can't get it here in Europe. Uh, we went to Muji and I got those highlighting pens. I bought some swimming trunks and I don't know, I feel like I messed up the shading here on the arms so it looks like the arms are bent backwards. But it's okay, learning from mistakes. Uh, we went out with my cousin. We had this weird tea where it has like salted milk foam at the top. Tasted really weird. The tea was great, the milk foam was weird, but it was still good. The first time KTV with my parents and um I tried to do the the picture that we took. I feel like it turned out kind of weird, but maybe that's just because I feel like at the time that I drew this, I felt like, ooh, that turned out great. But now that I look back on it, I feel like mm, <laughs> could have done better. But that's all progress, right? That's all a part of progress and seeing how you evolve. That's actually also um, one point of the Hobonichi that I actually really, um, <clears throat> what's it called, um, that I really value. No, that's a wrong word. But you know what I mean, like, um, because it's it's supposed to be every day a small entry, so just with one flip I can really see how much I improved in my art style and my drawings and um, just the way that my journaling kind of evolves which is really nice to see because it's so it's a daily page so you can really track your progress um yeah <laughs> these two days were really slow it rained a lot so we didn't do a lot but we went to Guangzhou really nice went by ferry so I had the ticket tipped in more pages. Oh yeah, also I, I told you I forgot my watercolors, right? So um actually all these all the colors are filled in afterwards with the Winsor Newton Cotman set. Really love this set. I think the colors are really great and um yeah I once I came back home I actually sat down and colored all of the colorings in. They're actually black and white. If you want to see the black and white versions, you can go on my Instagram. I'll post the link down below so you can check it out. <clears throat> we went to Daphne All Painting Village, um, where we bought a few paintings for our apartment, and this was one of them. And I tried to draw a chicken, but I feel like he turned out kind of weird. <coughs> I'm really sorry, I don't know what's going on with my throat. Um, went to Hong Kong and I got sick. I I was so so sick. I puked a lot and um, I don't know what this is called. This is Dufla in in German and um, kind of represented my feelings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I felt like some kind of monster because I felt so sick. My my hair was was crazy and so I kind of drew this while I was dizzy. Um. Yeah, I really love this spread. Um, this is actually one of my favorite spreads. We visited 
one like the kind of like a palace of our old an uh, ancestors and apparently he was kind of famous and um so we went there and he had like this huge painting of himself on on the front door to his living room and this was one of the dragons that were on like the the, the rooftop so it was just so so beautiful everything i tried to capture those vibrant colors and all that that colorful feeling it was so so nice i really love this spread it was like it's actually one of my favorite spreads in the hibonichi so far really enjoy this <clears throat> yeah i feel like most days it's just me rambling and then i try to incorporate the duel but sometimes i just don't have anything to do so it's just writing i had some taiwanese food and fried noodles which were really good um went to log on but um i was really excited about this uh, because i saw a lot of posts on instagram but i guess i went there on a bad day because they were they had a low stock on almost everything that i wanted to see like they didn't have a really big um selection of washi tapes most of the things for the traveler's notebooks were sold out so i guess i just went on a, on a, on a bad day but yeah um still really cute to finally see the store that all <laughs> they'll always see on instagram through the pictures um i was called lotus flower um c lilies water lilies water lilies sorry <coughs> sorry um yeah there there are some kind of chinese medicine soup thingy ingredient and um i never knew that they actually came from the water lilies so i journal about that so yeah really I, I i never knew and still blown away by this fact yep what else when i went out with my sister we saw a really cute puppy and I had the best chicken ever at, at grandma's home. It was so, so soft. It was so good. Really enjoyed it. Um, let's see. I tried to draw my aunties. They wanted me to draw them, but I really can't draw portraits. And maybe I should try and start learning how to draw more accurate representation of people. Yeah, um, I had some mooncake, and I really love the packaging of mooncake, so I draw it down. And we're almost at the end, actually, I didn't even realize. Um, on the 30th, we already had to pack everything. I got my Mi Band, um, which is this thing right here. And I also cut my hair, and it's now really short, like, it's quite accurate, actually, about here. Um really mushroom we like really enjoy it really really like it so cute and light um here i have to cover up my ticket because on the 31 we boarded the the plane and that's actually it for august and i feel like you can see that my my art style maybe or at least my journaling style or my drawing drawings yeah, my drawings have improved a lot and they, I feel like the maybe um, the faces are getting better. I know, I really like it, but um, compared to this, my journal style has improved even more now that it's almost the, yeah, we're almost at the end of September and my drawing style has even improved more. So yeah, <clears throat> don't be afraid to make mistakes, don't be afraid to just journal. And if you have, like on some days, you just don't want to draw anything. You just want to write down something, it's fine. Just add a few dots of colors, still looks fine. If it's all black and white, still looks good. Like, don't be afraid to just journal and um, write down whatever. Whatever is on your mind, whatever happened, it's all okay. Because in the end, the most boring days are still nice to read. Like, sometimes I flip them through and... I enjoy every page to be honest yeah like you can see drawing style has changed a lot the drawing style and it's getting more accurate for, I really like to play around with um 
shading because I feel like that makes a really big difference and because I'm not too good actually in art, I never took classes or anything, I'm self-taught and so a lot of things are not very accurate or not anat anatomic autonomy autonomically correct? I, I can't think of the word <laughs> but you know what I mean um a lot of poses or maybe proportions are real weird and just screwed up but um I still think it's all a process of learning and so yeah I'm sorry for rambling <laughs> um I really hope you enjoyed this flip through if you enjoyed this, let me know. I'm still thinking of also posting one for September because September my journey style has changed a lot. If you want a few peeks here and there, you can follow my Instagram. I sometimes post a few pictures on my spread. And um, yeah, that's basically it. My next video will be, should be about my... <coughs> I don't know what's wrong. I'm sorry. Um, my next video will be about my passport size um, because I moved back to it as a wallet and I want to share my, my setup. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Um, hope you have a great week and yeah, don't get sick in this cold weather. Bye!